Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? And Houston, are you ready for the event? Without further ado, I would invite Dr. Weingarten to provide opening remarks. Bob, welcome back to your alma mater. You're an outstanding ambassador for the University of Calgary, a credit to your alumni family and an inspiration to all of us in Canada. I'm now going to invite Chancellor Cuthbertson to present you with your honorary degree. Robert Thirst, by the authority of the statutes of the province of Alberta and upon the recommendation of the University Senate, I am delighted to admit you to the degree Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa, and grant you all the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to this degree. Bob, we're very proud to welcome you yet again into our alumni family. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Weingarten. Thank you, Chancellor Cuthbertson. Uh, this is indeed a, a special uh, honor for me. Um, I've been able to fly the Convocation Cape from the University of Calgary with me, and I asked a good friend, uh, Koichi Wakata, a Japanese astronaut, to place the cape on my shoulders right now. Okay. And uh, as you know, we're in. Thanks, thanks, Kuichi. As you know, we're in uh, we're in weightlessness here, and uh, things tend to float. So we need a little bit of uh, good old uh, duct tape to help keep the cape down. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but uh, let me um, let me show you my reaction when. Uh, Chancellor Cuthbertson first informed me that uh, I had the opportunity to become uh, an honorary degree holder from the University of Calgary. In other words, I went head over heels. You know, um, it, it is a, a very special honor for me on, on this day. I've been thinking about this event all day today. It, if I can't be in Calgary, I think the second best place to be is in space. You know, and um, you know, space flight is not something that an individual does. It's something that a team does. And we have a team of over 100 Canadians, Canadian space workers, who are supporting this expedition on board the station right now. And worldwide, we have probably thousands of, of other people who are supporting the event. So an honorary degree like this doesn't really go to an individual. It goes to a group of, of people. Uh, the University of Calgary is well represented uh, during this um, expedition. For example, I have the opportunity, I'm the, good, uh, the team member who has the opportunity to, to fly. Uh, Dr. Doug Hamilton, who is, um, uh, holds a medical degree and an engineering uh, PhD degree from the University of Calgary, is the flight surgeon for this uh, flight, taking care of me and staying on top of all the health issues that astronauts encounter during flights. And another mechanical engineering uh, degree holder, Laura Lucier, is the uh, robotics uh, programmer, the planner for this uh, flight. Programming robotics uh, for an expedition is not easy. It's, you know, choreographing a ballet is no more difficult than choreographing uh, robotics. So uh, Dr. Hamilton and Laura Lucier from the University of Calgary are also making very strong uh, contributions here. You know, when I was uh, a student at the University of Calgary uh, 33 uh, years ago, um, you know, I had a dream of, of one day flying in space, being an astronaut. A lot of the dreams that I have uh, have not come true, but of those few that, that have come true, uh, it's a great fulfillment, it's a great feeling. 
and it's um, it's a real special honor for me to, to be able to fly in space and talk to my uh, University of Calgary colleagues and, and friends from from orbit to get the message across that education is the key to dream, dreams coming true. You know, um, there's one thing in in Canada that uh, we do well at, and that's educating uh, university students. Our degrees are, are world renowned. The University of Calgary has a, a strong, strong uh, reputation worldwide. And it's a delight for me to represent not only Canada, but also the University of, of Calgary on, on this flight. So, to uh, Dr. Weingarten, uh, Chancellor Cuthbertson, and all of my friends who are at the University of, of Calgary, uh, I think it's important that uh, the country. The, all the governments, private industry, continue to vet, invest in education, continuing lifelong education and research and development, and the infrastructure that we need to keep it in place, so that uh, you know the next Elizabeth Cannons, the next Jacques Chanets will be able to have the opportunity to to do something great, perhaps fly in space, perhaps uh, go to Mars, perhaps uh, uh, discover new resources for Canada. So, a big thank you to everyone who showed up today. Especially a thank you to my classmate Soren Christensen who was there to represent me because I can't be physically there with you today. Thank you.